Hi everybody, my name is David Hong and I'm a security consultant here at AWS. Today, I'll be going over how to query Amazon Security Lake with Athena. I'll start off with a quick overview of Security Lake, go into prerequisites for querying Security Lake, use cases, and a demo. First off, what is Amazon Security Lake? Security Lake centralizes data from the cloud, on-premises, and custom sources into a data lake stored in your AWS account. You can use Security Lake to analyze security data and improve the protection of your workloads, applications, and data. Security Lake automatically gathers and manages all of your security data across accounts and regions. There are multiple sources that Amazon Security Lake pulls, pulls from and stores into S3. From there, you can analyze the information with Amazon Athena, OpenSearch Service, and SageMaker. Why Amazon Security Lake? Within just a few steps, you can set up Security Lake and add custom logs and query the data very, very quickly. This is a demonstration on how to query information from your Amazon Security Lake with Athena. Athena is a serverless service that you can run interactive analytics using SQL or Python, which for example, I'll put results that can be leveraged with Amazon QuickSight for visualizing your data or creating dashboards. In order to leverage Athena with your Security Lake data, you will have to enable Security Lake, enable Security Lake sources, update lake formation to allow permissions to view Athena's Security Lake database and tables, and lastly, enable QuickSight for the dashboard. I'll be going over some examples on how to execute queries for Security Lake. For example, with CloudTrail, you can run queries to check for unauthorized attempts against AWS services, list activities within a certain time frame, list IAM activities within a certain time frame, and query on instances where certain credentials were used. For Route 53, you can have a list of DNS queries and source information within a certain time frame, and a list of DNS queries that didn't resolve. For Security Hub, some example queries are findings where a severity is greater than or equal to medium and new, a query on common vulnerability scoring system, and vulnerability packages from findings. And lastly, for VPC flow logs, some examples are traffic in a specific AWS region, traffic originating from a specific IP and port, and a query on inbound traffic. Additionally, I'll be using these links with references to the queries in the links below. After you've enabled Security Lake, you'll need to enable sources. In this example, I'll be enabling data for CloudTrail, VPC flow logs, Route 53, and Security Hub. Do this by clicking on the source, enable, the region, of your choice and enable. Do the same for the other sources. And lastly, for Security Hub. Once these are enabled, you can validate by going into S3 going into the data lake security bucket, filter on security-data-lake, and you'll see the bucket. Inside of each bucket, you'll notice the findings. In my case, I have CloudTrail, Security Hub findings, VPC flow log, and I actually don't have Route 53 enabled, but if it was, it would be showing up in the bucket. Before we go into Athena, you have to add the data lake administrator. Under Permissions, Administrative Roles and Tasks, choose Administrator. What you'll be doing is adding the role that needs access to view the Athena database and table. In my demo, I will be using an admin role. Click on Save, and you'll notice that Admin appears under Data Lake Administrators. Afterwards, you have to go to Data Lake Permissions and grant 
the admin role, in my use case, access to the database and tables. Go to Name Data Catalog Resources. Choose the database. In my case, it's Amazon Security Lake, Glue, Database, and the Region. Under Tables, select All Tables. And under Permissions, select the Select and Describe Permissions and Grant. You can go to the Security Lake documentation and view the example queries that are provided. Under Example Security Lake Queries, you'll see queries for CloudTrail Data, Route 53, Security Hub, and VPC Flow Logs. I'll be showing you how to make and adjust the queries for your Athena query. Select the example that you would like and copy. Go to Athena, ensure that you have selected the correct database. In my case, it's Amazon Security Lake Blue DB US East 1. I've already pasted the example. What you have to do is replace the database table at the from query code. Double click on the database and table, and that'll automatically paste the database and table. For the event hour, Replace the start and end time with the correct time. The format, at, the format is year, month, day, and hour. In this case, it's 2023, January 1st, and 00 for midnight. The end time is 2023, January 31st, at midnight. I'll go ahead and run the query. And for my example query, this shows all of the denied requests to the CloudTrail log. And you can view the information below. Now you can also download and import it into Excel or any other CSV application that reads CSV. You can go back to the query examples and find additional queries that you would like to use. For example, list all IAM activities in a specific account during a specific time range. I'll go ahead and copy, go back to Athena, and add a new query. Paste it, and as before, remove the Athena database table information, double click on the specific resource that you're pulling from or querying from and then update the query start and end time. Run the query. And the results are below. Now going back to the examples again, you can do the same type of query and test for the specific use case that you need. Additionally, within the link below the video, you'll have the other reference for additional queries as well. This link provides specific queries for CloudTrail, VPC flow logs, and Route 53. You can tailor these queries for your specific use case. Moving on, I'll show you how to add a QuickSight dashboard using the Security Lake information. First, you have to go to Lake Formation and grant the user that you're using access to the specific QuickSight database information. Do so by clicking on under Data Lake Permissions, Grant, SAML Users and Groups, and paste in the ARN that you're using currently. In my case, it's admin, my user ID, account and other account information, and region. Following the same pattern as before, under Name Data Catalog Resources, choose the same database and tables, 
select, select, and describe, and grant. Once that's completed, go back to QuickSight. Ensure that you had, you, you've enabled QuickSight and for the S3 buckets that you're leveraging. After that is completed, go to Athena, create a new data source. In this case, I'm going to call it Security Lake Demo Dashboard. Create the source, select the database, and add in the visualization that you would like. In my case, I'll be using Security Hub Findings. Click Visualize and create the dashboard. Since I'm using Security Hub as my resource, I'd like to make a chart based on severity. Once it's populated, you'll get a count of all records by severity. For example, critical, high, medium, and low. The QuickSight dashboard is complete with Security Lake information from Security Hub. That concludes the demo for today. Thank you very much.